Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video of my room tour. I recently redid my bedroom. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen the process. If not, it's jessica.marie, two A's and two E's. So if you haven't seen that, today I'm going to be doing a video just on my complete room transformation. I'm just gonna be showing you guys the after of what it is now. So I'm gonna be going through everything. And if you guys have any questions about anything at all where i got things from or anything just comment below but i'm gonna try my best to go along and show you guys where i got things from so let's get into the video okay guys so here's the beginning of my room tour as you can see here i have this little mirror on my wall right here that i got from five below and then if you come this way i've got my closets here nothing special not really going to go into that right now just because they're messy and then i've got my tripod and my laundry whatever and then here is my squishmallows which i love so so much um this is one of my favorite parts of my bedroom and then as we go up here i've got just a little lamp here and then i've got a picture that my boyfriend and i made together um here's that and then you can come over here. I've just got my windows and I've got these curtains from Amazon. And then I've got LED lights going around my room, which start over there. And then if you go this way, here is my bed. I got my bed frame off of Amazon. And then I've got this comforter here that my mom actually gave me. She said that she bought it from either Walmart or Target. She can't really remember. And then these are just some stuffed animals that I, you know, didn't want to get rid of. So I kept them over there next to my squish. I've got this little throw from Five Below, which if you get this, don't put it in the wash or the dryer because it will tear apart. But, you know, it is what it is. And then I've got over here some pillows. This one I got from Five Below. This one is a pillow from Walmart with a pillow cover on it that I got from Amazon. Above my bed over here, you could see I have my beautiful macrame plant holders. I bought these off of Amazon. It came with a five pack, although... I only used four of them because I thought that five would look a little too crowded. So here it is a little more up close just so you can see them. I got these leaves off of Amazon. They're all fake plants. Um, this pot is from Walmart. Walmart, five below. Walmart, uh, five below. And Walmart up there. And then once you come over here, this is just like right above my bed. You can see I have this tapestry, which I got from um, Amazon, and I also have curtain lights hanging right along it. And those are also from Amazon. Once we come over here next to my bed, you can see that I have my nightstand here, and I actually refinished this. My mom helped me do that. We got this piece of furniture for free, and then we went ahead and painted it. It used to be like a natural wood color, and we just painted it white. Underneath, you can see I have this little notebook here, and then I got a piece of wood, and I just put these two candles that I have from Bath & Body Works. I really, really love candles. So this one is just the stress relief one, and then this one is also the aromatherapy one. I believe this is these ones. Um, the scent of it is the sleep one, but I'm not 100% positive. And then I just have this plant here that I got from Walmart as well. Moving on over here, I bought these knobs off of Amazon because I didn't like the one that it came with, and I just feel like this ended up making my room match a lot more because I actually put the same ones on my dresser, which you guys will see in a minute. And then once we come up here, you can see I have this lamp that I got from Walmart. And here is my remote for my curtain lights over there. So you can see here, I bought this little holder from Five Below and it's honestly so useful, but I just have my AirPods and my Apple Watch on there. And then I've got my glasses here because I actually wear contacts. Back here, I just have a few pictures. This one is of my mom and I, and then these are Tessa and I. And then this one has me and Violet in it. And the last thing I have over here is just this plant that I got from Walmart. One of my favorite plants in my room just because it's really cute. And yeah, that is all that is on my nightstand for the most part. Coming over here quickly, I'll just show you. Next to my nightstand, I have this little lap desk that I use for my homework and my backpack with my notebooks and everything inside of there. Now we're moving on to this corner of my bedroom. So you could see here I have this sign, which I bought from Five Below, and it really matches my room well, so I'm happy about that. I got these from Five Below as well. And this I painted myself of my boyfriend and I. Super cute. It's one of my favorite things I've ever made. And then this little glass jar is just from Hobby Lobby. It is so cute, and I just thought it matched my room perfectly, so I bought that. Moving on up here, you can see I have this hanging thing, which I made by myself. If you want to see more of how I made it, you can look at my TikTok because I did a video on that. I just have that hanging over there. 
And then in the corner over there, I have another candle from Bath & Body Works, my Polaroid, and another plant, which I got from Walmart. Now we're going to move over to this little corner I have here. I have this pink rug, which I bought from Amazon. And then I have this beautiful hanging swing. Uh, this is one of my also one of my other favorite parts of my bedroom. I have got here this little cushion that I got from Amazon. And it's actually like kind of small compared to my chair. But, you know, that's how it came. So it is what it is. And then this pillow here from Walmart. And then this is just my little reversible octopus, which is so cute. So yeah, that's my swing. Very, very cute. So next we're gonna move on to this side of my bedroom. I have here these vines that I got from Amazon and I added those flowers to it just to make like little floral vines right behind my mirror. So here's my mirror and I bought it from Target. It was about $60, I wanna say. Also my swing was around $60. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And so yeah, that's my little mirror area. Moving on over here, I have my dresser, which I got from Walmart for about $180. It's by the brand Delta, so if you want to search that up, you can. And it actually originally came with these silver knobs, but I bought these off of Amazon. They are the same ones that were on my nightstand, and I put them on here just so that it would match and look a lot better. And then moving on to what I have above here. So I have this candle here, which I know I mentioned already, I love candles. This is the vanilla peach tea one. It is my favorite scent, absolute favorite scent. I always use it, it's almost gone. So I'm gonna have to get another one. And then I have over here these um, little vitamins. This is my jewelry holder. And then this is a plant that I also got from Walmart. Um, this I got, the jewelry holder is actually a candle holder that I got from Primark, but I use it as a jewelry holder. And then this I got from Walmart for about $10, I wanna say. Then over here, I just have my TV on top of my dresser. It looks like that. And then hanging above my TV, I actually just added this on. This is like the last thing that I added to my bedroom. My mom actually handmade me this dream catcher and she asked me how I wanted it and she put the beads the way I wanted it and the feathers and everything. So she literally made that for me, which I really appreciate so, so much. So I just wanted to hang that up. I feel like it kind of added to my bedroom and it was really cute. Next, we will move on to over here. This is where my vanity is. So this is just a desk from Walmart, but I use it as my vanity because it's just plain and simple. Um, it was... I'm not, I don't really remember the price of it, but I know that you can get it from Walmart. And then on the bottom here, I have this rug that I got from Amazon, and this garbage is from Walmart. Next, I have this chair, which a lot of people ask me where I got it from. Um, I got it from Target um, probably about two years ago, and it was about $60. When you go to the website now, you can look for it, but it's over $100, so I don't know why the price raised so much. And then on top of my vanity here, I just have my MacBook here. I pretty much use it all day, but for now, that's what's there. And then moving on over here, I have a Scentsy warmer and then my Bath & Body Works. Um, these are both body washes that I just got. These are new. And then this one is um, a hand cream. And then moving on over here, I just have some makeup. I just use like simple, plain things over here. This is my moisturizer that I use all the time and deodorant, just basic. And then here's some hair products that I use. And this is powder, which I don't really use very often because I try not to wear too much makeup. And then last here, I just have a little plant, which I also got from Walmart. Now we will move on to above my vanity. So here you can see this pegboard that I actually made by hand. I really wanted a cute one, but I couldn't find any that I liked. So I decided to make my own. And we'll quickly just go through the decorations I have on it. So this picture here is actually from the dollar store and I took it out of its frame and just left it like that because I thought it was so, so cute. And then this is also from the dollar store. It's a little pink candle. And then I have my makeup brushes here in this little jar. I have here a plant that's from Walmart with a little elephant, super cute. And then this is um, just an hourglass and I bought this from Hobby Lobby. So there's that. Moving on up here, I have markers inside of a mason jar, and I also have my felt tip pens, which I write with these all the time. These are my absolute favorite pens in another mason jar. And then next to that, I just have a picture of my boyfriend and I, and then a picture of my cat that actually passed away last summer. So you have that on the second shelf. Up here on the third shelf, I have these little soaps that was actually a Christmas gift from one of my friends. I don't like to use them because they're just so cute and I'm going to show you guys a few of them. They're super duper cute. So honestly, I used one of them and then I decided that I was just going to keep them to, you know, 
admire because honestly i didn't want to use them they're so cute and i am obsessed with them so i just keep them as a decoration and the container is super cute as well so i just keep that as a decoration and then i've got here this plant which i also got this from walmart and then this is the same one from amazon it came with a three pack so that is the top of my pegboard the last little section of my room is pretty boring but i figured i'd show you it anyways i just have here my jacket and a sweater because it's been a little bit cooler out and my towel down here i have this little basket that i got from five below and it has gloves in it from when it was cold out and then it just has um my masks beanies and then over here, I just have my bag and I have my other ones in my closet, but this one I usually use when I go out and I also have my wallet in there. Okay guys, that was my bedroom tour. I have personally purchased everything, redid everything on my own. So I did have the help of some family members though, my mom, my siblings, everybody helped me, which I really appreciate just because it's kind of hard and overwhelming to do everything. It took me about like two to three weeks to be completely finished with everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed my room tour. If you would like to, you can subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.